Hello everybody, Chriselle here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do a cooking vlog and it is going to be the bulalo. It is a beef stew and Filipino love to eat this during rainy season. Well, everybody wants to have like some warm soup during cold weather or rainy season, right? So we have here all the ingredients for this dish. So this is the beef meat and this is pre-cut for stew. And the other one is the corn. Usually they use only four cuts of corns but I don't have the corn powder to add in the soup. That's why I'm going to compensate it with a lot of corn. So the next one is the cabbage. Um, I cut this into two. They usually use a big cut of the cabbage and put it in the soup. But since I'm going to use the Instapot, I can't put this all together here because it's going to overcook the cabbage. And then I'm going to use one onion and cut it into four. So these two is optional, the beef broth and the fish sauce. I want to use this beef broth and fish sauce for this soup because I want to add flavor on it. And the main ingredient we are going to put to this soup, because you cannot call this bulalo if you don't have this. I tried to cut this into small pieces, but I can't, it's just hard. So this one is only the leftover from the bone marrow that I used and the menudo, the Spanish style menudo last Christmas. And I want to use this, but that's why I am doing this today because I don't want to waste this bone marrow because it's pretty expensive. So we are going to do the bulalo today. All right guys, so this is going to be our lunch for today and the weather is a little bit cold, so this is perfect. So let's begin. By the way, I am using Instapot going to make my life easier, which it's proven because I used this last Christmas for menudo. Surprisingly, not a lot of people know that you can use this for menudo, the Spanish menudo, which in traditional way of cooking the Spanish menudo, it takes like, I don't know, eight hours or more than eight hours to cook that dish. Bulalo in the Philippines also needs hours to make this dish. So this Instapot here is going to help me because the menudo, I only cook the menudo for two hours using this Instapot. So for Bulalo, I will do the same. Probably an hour because it's not, it's not really like, you know, needs a lot of uh, time because we are using high pressure here. I bought this um, last Black Friday and it's a pretty good deal. They usually cost like, I don't know, like 300 because it's a big one, but I only got this for 100 bucks. Like, I think 99 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. So let's start now. So we are going to put 32 ounces of water in here. But since I'm going to add this, I'm only going to use half of the water plus the broth. So the traditional way of cooking bulalo, they cook the meat first, make sure that it's tender, and then they put the bones, the bone marrow, to add flavor in the soup. But for today, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put all together because like what I said, we are using high pressure here. And then at the last part, we are going to add the corn and the cabbage so I'm going to put this now this is beef broth I love to use organic food then now I'm going to add this meat here so then let's add this bone marrow I tried to cut this into small pieces but can't after everything is tender after the meat is tender and ready to put the cabbage and the corn I am going to remove this bone and just get this part I don't know guys if anybody try to use the Instapot for bulalo, but I think it's the easiest way to cook this dish. Because I remember back home, I used to eat in these restaurants and I asked them like, how do you cook the bulalo? And then they said, it's like, it takes 24 hours to cook the soup, plus they're gonna cook the meat and then they just add on the vegetables, the corns and anything that they wanna add. Now I'm going to add the onion. So the missing ingredient is the corn powder, but like what I said, I'm just gonna compensate it with a lot of corns here. Then I'm going to add this two tablespoons of fish sauce. This is optional guys, I mean, you don't have to cook this if you don't like the smell of the fish sauce, but I think this is gonna give more taste to the fish or to the soup. All right, so now we are ready. All right, so let's close this first. There you go. I have to put this in here so it will not make a mess. So we are going to choose meat and stew. And then we are going to cook this for 35 minutes using high pressure here. So this is the high pressure here. So we have to click that. You have option low or high, but we need high pressure here. So that one there, and then you can start cooking. There you go. So after 30 minutes, we can add this corn here and the cabbage. And uh, of course we're gonna taste the soup. Then it will only take like another 10 minutes to 
cook this again it's pretty simple it is easy and it makes mom's life easier okay guys so 35 minutes is over and now we are ready to release the pressure you can actually release the pressure manually or you can just press it and just let this in pot release the pressure by itself but now i'm just going to release it manually because the last time that i did the, the auto release pressure the pressure just blew up on our ceiling so that is not really good at all now you cannot open this because of the pressure inside so what we are going to do is release the pressure right now the manual release pressure this is not really a lot of pressure that is releasing but if you press it like this that's the pressure that you're releasing from the inside of the insta pot so that is the auto release pressure like some water from inside is going to come out so i rather release it manually like that <laughs> So it will not cause damage to our ceiling. Like what I said, you can always use the auto press, which is more easier and just let it there, but it's not gonna work here in our kitchen. So I have to remember the pressure. So now I pressed it automatic. It's pressing more because the pressure is not as strong anymore. So I can use my two hands now to cover it. So this is slowly gonna go down until it will allow it to open. So the release button here is gonna drop. Now it's the time for you to open the pot. So let's add our corn here and then our vegetable. You know what guys, it's up to you if you want to add the pad chai. The pad chai is like a Chinese cabbage. You can add that if you want but I don't have it here right now so I'm just gonna add this cabbage here. In Bulalo, the important thing is the taste of the soup. Like what I said, I use bone marrow to make the soup taste. Okay, because I don't want to overcook the cabbage, I'm only gonna do 5 minutes to cook this and then that's it we're done so use the meat stew again and then just adjust this let's do eight minutes because the meat is already cooked it's just that we want the corn to add on the flavor and then high pressure again and then start and that's it and we are going to wait again for another eight minutes then i'm going to stir the soup and we'll see if we achieve the taste of the all right everyone now we are done i heard a beep and uh, we are going to release the pressure again and this is going to be the final turning this so okay. it will not heat my pendant light so now we can open this thing and let's see so the tricky part here is how to remove the bone marrow because I don't want to serve that with a big bone yeah. like that. In the Philippines, they usually serve it with a small cut of bone. And that's the exciting part that you have to remove that bone marrow inside. But for now, I have to remove that bone here. So this is one of the bone here that we have to remove the thing. It's very tender, look at that. So look at this one here, so a lot inside. So you have to remove that because it's the best part of the budalo. So I want to show you guys how it looks from inside. So that's the bone marrow here. So all the corns and I have the meat inside. Let's serve this now. Don't forget that bone marrow here and the meat. So this is how Bulalo looks like and uh, of course without the bones, all the bone marrow here. And this is our finished dish today and I hope my husband's gonna like it. Alright everyone, so I'm going to end this video right here and thank you so much for watching. Remember guys, this is my own style cooking Bulalo using Instapot. Actually, that's only 45 minutes to cook this bulalo, which the traditional way it takes like 8 hours or 24 hours to cook that soup. Alright guys, so I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and please hit like button below if you end up liking this video. You can also put comment, suggestion or question down below and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Please stay safe, spread the love and God bless you all everyone. Bye!